Hello everybody and welcome to this JavaScript programming tutorial. My name is George and today what we're going to do is that we're going to practice a little bit more with the document object model and we will make this program over here. We have uh, this HTML file that have uh, five paragraph elements and this button over here and when you click this button see what happens. You will delete all the elements that are contained in this document. Now, um, I erase the code over here so you can see how we we write it and um, what we will do first is that we will uh, access all these paragraphs over here and we will store them in a list using uh, the document object model and the way to do that is that we first declare a variable called list and we can say okay let's access the document and let's use a method called get elements by tag name and basically what this does is that you can access all the elements uh, in the HTML document depending on, on which tag you specify for example the p tag and with this you basically look up for all the paragraphs in this document that in this case uh, they are these elements over here and you get to store them in this list so this list it is important to know that this is a, a node list object so you can look up this uh, object in the in internet so you can see what, what it does and what the properties are but basically you can see for example let's show up what is the size of that list and just type in alert list dot length so save this file and then reload this page and let's check out what this code does so click over here and you will see that uh, we have five and five means the number of elements uh, that are paragraphs in this uh, document so as you can see we have five p tags and uh, we got them all by using this function and we store them in, th in this list and now we can see how many we have uh, but you can also access uh, each one of them. For example, you can access every item for for just uh, writing item. This is another method that uh, is uh, available in this object, the node list object. That this list uh, is a node list object. So just type in item and write, for example, zero, and this will get you the first element in this uh, list. If we save this and we um, reload the page, we will see that the result says this is an object of uh, HTML paragraph element. So that means that we are getting this tag over here. And we can even see what uh, content it has. For example, write inner.html, save this, and reload over here. And we will see the text contained in that paragraph. In this case, it is element 1. So we can access uh, the properties of these objects. And uh, now, uh, if you want to delete them, you will do the next thing. Let's declare another variable. For example, variable node, and this node is going to be the first element in that list. For example, item zero. This means that the first element in the no list of these paragraphs will be stored in this variable and we can now remove it and how are we going to do that for doing this we need to understand also uh, another of the DOM properties um, these tags that you see over here these p tags are contained in the body tag so basically what we have here is a hierarchy where the body tag is uh, the parent of these uh, p tags and all of these are are really nodes these elements uh, are stored in nodes and the way we can uh, destroy one of them we can access for example node and there is a method that um, is called get parent I think it is get parent and then uh, this parent the the parent of the node uh, would be the bigger node that contains it for example the body tag so you write this and uh, sorry I forgot this is no parent I almost forgot the no so, sorry again I always forgot this one it's parent node this is the the parent of uh, the first item and the 
parent of this p tag is the body tag so uh, what you need to do next is to use a method called remove child and this means that you're going to remove a child from this body tag because first we were in this node and then we go to the parent node that is uh, the body tag and then we're going to remove a child of that node and we need to specify which, which child are we going to remove so just type in node and why did you type in node? well because the node is actually the first p tag over here so we're going to remove the element number one so go ahead and save this and see what happens we reload this page and you click over here and you can uh, see how we are removing all the elements in this uh, document and that is possible because every time you remove uh, an element from from the list the the other elements for example this element number two that was in position number one it uh, passes uh, to the position number zero because this doesn't exist anymore so you um, erase that and now you have four elements and now you have a list with four elements in which the first position uh, with the number zero will be the element two and that is because the element number one doesn't exist anymore so go ahead and try this out this is really really amazing because you are really now changing code uh, dynamically using javascript and dom so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i will try to upload uh, more tutorials like this and the code as always will be on the description of this uh, video there will be a link to my website where, where you can download this code so i hope that helps too um, thank you very much and see you next time